There's the politics of the situation is interesting also because we've seen Republicans come out in force. Even Lindsey Graham and Moscow Mitch are behind, <laughs> are against Trump in going and doing what he's doing in Syria. I shouldn't say it that way, but I'm, I'm furious. So, um, <laughs> my and yet, and yet uh, as far as the Ukrainian thing is concerned, it's like they don't want to have anything to do with it. So, uh, how do you explain this? How, I was shocked that they were so uh, against Trump here. Weren't they worried about their jobs and everything else that they're well, worried about? I'm glad that they stood up to defend our ally and partner, the Kurds. Yes. I wish they'd stand up to defend our Constitution. It would be nice, mm, but you know, they don't. They we need them to do both. You know, Lindsey Graham had a quotation when he was prosecuting Clinton mm -hmm. uh, for impeachment. Mm -hmm. He said, you know, the, the purpose of impeachment is to cleanse the office mm -hmm. and bring back dignity and integrity and honor. Oh, he's the opposite now. Right. Well, I understand. I'm, I'm not even I'm not validating him back then or now. But what I'm saying is, if that's the standard, we're way past honor and, and dignity in that office. Yeah, that's just a lot. Okay, here's another question. A lot of people, this is about Joe Biden, a lot of people acknowledge that Biden did nothing wrong in his dealings with Ukraine. Um, but they think his son, is, his son taking a high-powered job and a high-paying job uh, was kind of what they call swampy behavior. Now, how, how, how harmful has this been to Joe Biden? Look, I think it's... it's I should be worry about it. I think, you know, what Donald Trump is doing so effectively yeah. is taking his own greatest vulnerability, which is the perception that he is corrupt and his children are corrupt, and trying to turn it into his op opponent's greatest weakness. Yes. You know, Joe Biden has, was the poorest senator in the United States Senate. Mm. And nobody ever accused him of being corrupt, mm -hmm. because he's not. Mm -hmm. And, but Trump has you know, come up with this assault and, and level that as a way to tar Joe Biden. But is it I taking don't, hold? I don't know. I don't think the polls are suggesting yet that it's no. taking hold. Right. And uh, I think that, you know, Joe Biden is a man of integrity. Mm -hmm. Whether you agree with him or not, I happen to agree with him mm -hmm. on most everything. Mm -hmm. He was doing the business of the United States government right. based on bipartisan policy in co concert with our European allies to try to work to root out corruption in Ukraine. What President Trump did is try to extort the Ukrainians for his own personal political mm -hmm. benefit. Right. There's a huge difference there, and I think the American people are intelligent enough to, to see that Ambassador, difference. Ambassador, I want to get I to so. a part of the book that I loved. You have a great family. Your husband actually used to be my boss when I used to serve coffee and scripts at ABC News, and he's a <laughs> wonderful guy. But you write about your son, who not everyone knows, but your dinner table is probably a little bit like the view table. Exactly. Uh, Washington <laughs> Post describes him as a Trump-loving Republican. I, Meg and I would argue that, that Republican is not the same as Trump-loving, but mm -hmm. exactly. he's pro-Kavanaugh, he's pro-life. He was head of the Republican Party at Stanford. What are those conversations so, like? He's a traditional conservative. I don't accept the post-characterization of him. But let me say this. Where did that come from? He, well, that's a great question. Mm -hmm. We've got a son on one hand who's way to the right, and our daughter, who's almost 17, who's way to the left. Mm -hmm. And my husband and I tried <laughs> to raise our kids to be independent thinkers. Yeah, of course. To and be, it worked. Good for to, you. <laughs> well, it, I, unfortunately, it worked. It worked. It worked. And, you know, we love them both with all our hearts. They're, they're good people. They are caring people. Uh, but the dinner table can get a little funky sometimes. <laughs> but that's what, that's what like civil fun. discourse is. That's, that's what, what America is. Absolutely. You know? right. Good for you, you for know? raising you. Yeah. 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 Both sides, you know, both sides now, y'all. <laughs> Thanks to Ambassador Susan Rice, members of the audience. You know you all were good today. <laughs>